So we're starting some geometry um, now that we're moving on from ratios and proportions. Although some of the things that you learned in ratios and proportions will still be used. We're starting today with angles. And there's three vocabulary words that I want you guys to really focus on. There's complementary angles and they equal 90 degrees. There's supplementary angles and they equal 180 degrees. And vertical angles are angles that are opposite angles formed by an intersecting line. So they, if they're crossing each other, that's where the intersection is. And vertical angles are equal. So whatever this angle's measurement is, it's equal to this one. And the same is true here. This angle is equal to this angle. Let's go back to complementary and supplementary, because I'll be honest, when I was a kid, I confused them all the time. Which one's the complementary, which one's the supplementary? Until I remembered that 90 degrees forms a corner. And corner starts with a C, just like complementary starts with a C. And that's how I remember, even still today, that complementary is 90 degrees. It's the one that forms a corner. Supplementary is a straight line. If you do a 180, you've turned around halfway around a circle, and that's what all of these are. Here's why this is 90 degrees. If I drew a circle around this, it's one-fourth of the circle. One-fourth of 360 degrees is 90 degrees. If I drew a circle around this, it's half the circle. Half of 360 degrees is 180. But back to the vocabulary, I remember that supplementary starts with an S, and so does the word straight for straight line. So when I think supplementary, I think straight, and that equals 180 degrees. Why is that important? Because we're going to have problems where you need to find a missing measurement. So when I look at this one here, it's a corner. What does a corner equal? A corner equals 90. What do I have here? I have 66 degrees. Oops, I wrote 60. 66 degrees plus 8x. Well, that's an equation, just like what we've been doing all year. I'm going to subtract 66 from 90. And then I'm going to be dividing. I should have given myself a little bit more room here. But I'm going to have to borrow. This is 10 minus 6 is 4. I'm going to write my answer up here. And 8 minus 6 is 2. So 24 is now equal to my 8x. And if I divide by 8, 24 divided by 8 is 3 equals x. So this equals 3 degrees. And I could go back and check. 8 times 3 is 24 plus 66 equals my 90 degrees. How do I do number 2? Well, I'm looking for the measurement of this straight line. Straight is equal to 180, so that's my answer. I have x plus 3 plus 49. And the x plus 3 is this angle. And the 49 is this angle. So that's telling me I could take my parentheses away and do combining like terms. 3 plus 49 is going to be 52, and that is equal to the 180. I'm going to subtract 52 from both sides, and I get, I'm going to have to borrow again, so I have 1, 7, and 10. 10 minus 2 is 8. 7 minus 5 is 2, and I still have the 1. 128 degrees is my answer. Okay, I'm going to zoom in a little bit and see if we can get closer on number 3 here. Our last example we're doing together. This is a vertical angle, which means whatever this is, is equal to this. And I need to find out what that x is. So I'm going to do 96 is equal to 2x plus 6. I know that this angle equals the same as this, so whatever this number is, is my answer, because that's my whole angle degrees. These should have degree marks on them. And I'm going to just solve the equation. 
this, 6 minus 6 is 0, 96 minus 6 is 90, equals 2x. If I divide by 2, I end up with 90 divided by 2 is 45 degrees. Okay, so you're going to practice that on this paper. There's some independent practice problems underneath here. If it's a straight, it's going to be worth 180 degrees. If it's a corner, it's worth 90 degrees. Straight is supplementary. 90 degrees is complementary. And a few more problems on back, okay? Um, let me know if you have questions while you're working. Yes, you are allowed to use a calculator.